good sloppy over there going up. It's going to be fine. And I'm literally sinking in right now. Well, the good news is that's the side the sun hits. You can see that that's dry on the other side. Oh, good lord. It's like that door over here. So muddy. Yeah, it's major. What is this? It's quicksand. Yep. You and me both, brother. Do we not want to hug this side? No, because it's, it's dropping. Right? Or do you think that'd be better for you? I don't know. You're good, Justin. Now just go passenger and come down. Like just give it, like you can give it gas if you want to. Like a little bit, you know? Or let your foot off the brake, you'll be fine. There you go. There you go. You're good. Well, I don't want to do is slide you into that, that thing, you know what I'm saying? If you want to ride that, it might be better for you because you have a lot of traction. Will your trailer dip into this wall? Oh, oh just I know. So here's the thing. I'm gonna the, I'm gonna get pulled right into it, right? So we might as well just put. That's I mean that's that's where I'm at. Look, I'm gonna go in there anyway, right? There's really almost no way for me to avoid it with the trailer. It's gonna go in there anyway. The worst, the worst is getting high centered right here, right? The trailer. So let's just throw some max tracks in there, build it up, and I'll just own it. We'll just I'll just come right down and I'll just hit the rut. I mean, we just don't want to be high centered, so we just build it up. You want me to go through the rut first? Knock it down a little? Yeah, maybe. It's easy to pull you out if you get stuck. Wait, stop. Let me let me explain what's going on. This only took 10 minutes. Just kidding. Gotcha. That didn't help at all. Like there's an angle right here, you're just gonna go right in there. No, I, that's too deep, dude. There's no way you can get in there. Yeah. You're gonna we have to her. max tracks this whole thing. He wanted to put his passenger in the rut. Nah. I was. Uh, just lay a couple max tracks down on that slippery part, that little peak right there. Yeah, right in here. This whole thing. His back tire went from there to here. He just slid like. Whoop. Yep. Yeah, but at least we built the berm up now. Right here? Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you just lay like six max tracks, you're fine. Guys, just try and go over the max tracks. No, I stay left. Just stay left and see what happens to the truck when it hits the max tracks. Yeah, see right there. Another one horizontal there? Give it a five. Back up, back up. Yeah. Moved it out of the way. It might have worked with the money. If you go over it, it's going to be hard to. A little bit. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Straighten out. Yep. Yeah. Driver's good. Yeah, I got a little driver. Okay. So if Jason flips again, we're gonna get it for sure. We're gonna get it. Now 
Hold on, hold on. Let me uh, get that max track. You want that other one? Oh, it is. Oh, the black one. one. Oh, oh. Jason, try to save. Dude, we could get set up somewhere good. before dark. Where in Moab? Yeah. That's what the plan was. That's the plan? Right at the end of the day, go to. Unless yeah. we feel that this was like awesome to no. we needed to stay here or something. I just said that we're going straight to, Pins or straight to Moab. But, right. Yeah, we're going to take the I 70 fast way out of here. Heck. So, looking at the map, this ta this road takes us back to the campsite. Right. We're going to go that way. To if I we. Okay, so have you looked at the map? Because we're not anywhere close. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly where we are. Come look at the map. Yeah. At this point in time, I think we were all done with this trail. It was a sloppy, muddy mess, and it just kept getting worse. It was 3 p.m., we had almost an hour and 45 to Moab, and we wanted to get there before dark. At this point, we covered three of the 14 miles it was to get back to the interstate, and we just didn't have the daylight to make it the rest of the way. Had conditions been more dry, I have no doubt that we could have come close to doing it, but the conditions were terrible, and crazy as it sounds, dangerous. He was saying going up here, he knows this, I don't. But to me, this going up here just looks like we're gonna be dealing with more of what we've been dealing with all day long. And that I knew this was gonna be wet. And honestly, I should have exercised some different level of caution in coming on a route like this, you know? I mean, it's wet, right? This is, this is me learning Utah, learning and understanding that like in the month of March, everything's gonna be wet because snow is melting off. This is really, really beautiful though. Check this out. Hey Will, nice to meet you. Where'd you go, AJ? What's that? You, you left. Oh hi, I left. Hey, hey. I think I'm level. Yeah. Are you level? All right. So I don't know exactly where we are. The service is Something like that, yeah. Where's my lighting? We have gotten ourselves back in here. Kind of crammed in this old little section here. I think it's gonna work out all right so far. The trailer seems okay. Like it seems fine. It seemed to be driving fine. The brakes worked. The lights are working. Like really the plumbing is working. The just it's, I don't have any leaks anywhere. Like the only thing that I can find that happened was that one little spot over here on the corner of the nose box. I've already talked to David Turtleback. Um, we're gonna get we're gonna get fixed up. It's it's an easy fix. A lot of things could have gone even more wrong than they did. The conditions were slippery. It was a very weird, it really wasn't a good, it wasn't a good scenario for a trailer. I don't know if this could have been prevented. Uh, it's hard to really say. Uh, at the end of the day, I guess here's the moral of the story. There's a lot that can be learned from anything that you do. If you have successes or if you have failures, if you make mistakes, if you don't make mistakes and things just go wrong, like there's so much that you can learn from it. Given the scenario, I'm like really impressed with the structural rigidity of of this of this trailer. Rigidity? You know what I mean? Like, can I get in here? Are you, Am I ruining it? Are you impressed? I mean, like, I, like, like I don't know. Like this, this side box could have been crushed. You know what I mean? Like they could have used like cheaper materials. Like, I mean like a million different things could have so happened. I saw it happen. Oh I was behind him 
and it was like Michael Bay, like my vision zoomed in, and it was like, goo -goo, and the trailer, boosh, and it was all uh, emotional, and it was really so exciting, but I mean horrible at the same time, and I thought it would be wrecked, and there's like just a couple dents. I mean, I was impressed. I thought I'm, there would be a lot more damage. I am pleasantly surprised. Yeah. There was some there steel was... cut oatmeal that spilled, <laughs> and that was one of the <laughs> one of the biggest things. Right? Made a mess. Yeah, sorry to hijack you. No, video, man. man. This is Mike, by the way, with Last Line Defense. If you're not following him on YouTube, you ought to be. Uh, he's got great content, and um, he's like way more famous than I am. So you probably are following, to be frank. But no, not really. But, but Jason, like, we're Jason, kind of is the reason that we're out here. Yeah, we, we wanted did. to do a video together. We and did. Here we are. Here we're we a are. trip together, really. <laughs> we were just talking this morning. Gee, I hope we have some good content today. Yeah. And now we have good content. Wow, so you hopefully, have excellent content. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, we, we had AJ. AJ is the one that wanted to flip his Forerunner, and instead, yeah, Jason flipped stole the thunder. His trailer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Could have been worse. Oh yeah. See that? It was chilly. I don't even know what's in it. There's no beans. I actually don't mind. Sorry. But it's got like sweet potatoes and ground turkey and carrots and tomatoes and all kinds of stuff. And here's the crazy thing: Ben likes it, and if Ben will eat it, you know it's got to be good because he's like super, duper picky. Yeah. Ready for some chili?